All right, uh, this is sound I wanted to play. This is from Mike Dunleavy. You know what's weird is the general manager of the Golden State Warriors, Mike Dunleavy, Junior. two months uh, two months into the job, and uh, they got Chris Paul. They re-signed Draymond Green. They traded Jordan Poole. They signed Corey Joseph. They drafted some players. What's left to do, Mike? Yeah, I mean, those are... Those are guys we definitely want to get locked up moving forward. Uh, been a big part of what we've done here, and um, I think they can still contribute, especially Clay on the court and Steve. Um, you know, one of the best, if not the best, coach in the league. So high priority level in terms of getting those guys done. You know, we'll see. I mean, obviously, there's always a financial component, and guys want to be here and all that. But you know, we, we greatly value them and hope we can work things out. Has there been much conversation on both or either? Yeah, I don't give a whole lot in terms of what goes on in between the uh, the walls at Chase Center, but we've had good conversations, and uh, I think we'll continue to do that. And optimistic that we can work things out for both both those guys. There you go. I I guess I wasn't thinking about it. I didn't. It would it surprise me a little bit? They said that I, I they've mean, been having conversations. Well, I'll be surprised if. You think Clay Thompson's going to get an extension by, before the end of the uh, before the start of the season? I don't. Well, see, I didn't until I heard that. So I, and even before I heard the sound, just based on the way that Lake have talked about Bob Myers' situation, this is more for Steve Kerr than Clay Thompson. I'm I'm sure players and coaches are different. But when Joe Lacob said that he had already presented multiple offers or two was the number to Bob Myers. At some point during the regular season last year in the second half, well, then I started thinking, well, maybe upcoming this summer, well, there might have been a position to where Joe Lacob or now Mike Dunleavy Jr. could have that conversation. There might be the 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 first offer on the table, but that's kind of the starting point. Like he, there may True. be an offer yeah. out there currently for both of those guys, but no, I don't believe anything's going to be in ink before the season starts. Well, then it's not going to get done. I don't think so. Interesting. I, uh, I'm interested to see how Warrior fans think about that at 888-957-9570. So that's what Steve Kerr said. It was all part of a story written by Monty Poole at NBC Sports Bay Area. And um, the quote from Dunleavy is, those are guys we definitely want to get locked up. Monty Poole added. Now, this is Monty adding this in the story. Um. By not signing him before the season, he said, it's the kind of tension that nobody wants to cope with during the season. That was the one that got me. Because it feels to me like Monty saying the worst thing, or one of the worst things that could theoretically happen is you don't get these guys locked up before the season, and now there's uncertainty. I didn't, you think that's a big deal? Well, yes, just because of what happened last season. But there was also, of course, the, the guise of internal and literal conflict within the team. So in addition to Bob Myers not having a contract, there was also the team in kind of the strife that was very public. So, I mean, yes, if something happened in training camp or early in the season and there was a verbal altercation and you know th there's more of the same this season compared to last then yeah, I do think those conversations are probably heightened or looked at a little more, I don't know, with, with more intent because you're wondering whether Kerr's in, Clay's in. I, I think Clay Thompson absolutely wants to be a Golden State Warrior, and the difference to me between that and, say, a Kevin Durant situation is, of course, we didn't know KD wanted to continue to be in Golden State. Clay Thompson has stated he wants to be here, I think, for the rest of his career. Right. I don't know that about Steve Kerr. And we're also seeing Steve Kerr, he's working with Team USA. So he's still got other opportunities to coach if it's not in Golden State. I also believe that the Warriors are in a position heading into the new CBA and also with the age and kind of experience and uh, leash on their roster. Like, I, I don't know if I'm Joe Lakey, but if I'm okay giving that amount of years and money at this point. Because if you're trying to win and this year goes off the rails, well, then it might be time to reset. Like, God forbid something terrible happens to Stephen Curry. 
then you might have to think about the future. Right. And if you have everyone locked up for the next three years, well, then you're just, you're, you can't do anything. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, the, the thing that I automatically came to, as you did, is what about Myers last year? Do you believe that Myers' uncertainty was at all a factor on the court last year? In terms of all that, you know, we, okay, Wiggins had his thing. We factor that in, or at least we, we, we give it merit as something that maybe detracted from the season. He wasn't there for 10. You think the Bob Myers non-contract last year manifested itself in any way on the, on the team's one-loss record? I don't know, but I think it'd be hard to... Like, if you're Draymond Green or you're Stephen Curry or Klay Thompson, if you are the, the elder guard and you're close with Bob Myers, I don't know how much it affects you on the court, but you do have to... Like, I think it's logical. You have to wonder about the direction of the franchise because Bob Part's a massive part of that. Now, he's gone, and you have someone that, at least from what I've heard from Mike Dunleavy Jr., he's very genuine, he's open, he's also smart, and he does appear to be kind of a Bob Myers clone in a way. Yeah. So that's that's comforting. Then you make the move for Chris Paul, so they're trying to give you help. I do think if you're the big three, there's probably less questions about the direction of the franchise this year than last year. And maybe... That was because of Bob Myers. I just am not sure how it manifested itself on the court. Like, do you have a theory on that? I don't know. I don't know. I I think. Yeah, I I believe I do believe in that stuff. Even though it's hard to measure or hard hard to take stock of in terms of specifics, but if I'm if I'm a Warrior fan and Steve Kerr. How do I want to say this? I don't I don't know I don't know if I want Steve Kerr to get a 3-year contract extension. And it's not because I don't think he's a great coach. He's a great coach, but I have don't you have to leave open the possibility that you know what? We may have to change direction in a year or two, possibly. Maybe. And then the question becomes would Steve Kerr be the best coach for this team after the big 3? Or at least when the as the big 3 Turn, starts turning into role type players and down the line. You know what I mean? Or, or would you want to start with somebody new? I mean, I, I think from what we've seen from Steve Kerr, he he ain't here for the kids. Like, like he he's he's not around to coach kids. Well, then do you want to give him a three kids? year extension? Well, you have Curry for you the next three years. You have Draymond for the next four years. And, and to me, that would be the reason why Clay Thompson and Steve Kerr get extensions before the season is because if you really do want to have everyone aligned and it's more mental, I think, than, than physical, then you do show them and you do provide that kind of confidence in the big three and the rest of the group that you do believe that they can win a championship because like, if we're talking about the future, and this is where I think the Warriors got a little bit in trouble, was they were looking down the line a couple of years ago. And that clearly affected the way that the big three and the elder statesmen of the team, they, they felt like maybe the front office wasn't with them. And so now I think Mike Dunleavy Jr., by the moves that he's made, is trying to show them that they are fully believing that the big three can still win a championship. But if you're Stephen Curry, if you're Draymond Green, you're probably looking at him and saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm glad you got us this, I'm glad you got us that, but you haven't gone all in yet. Right, And so there's still reason to believe that you could, if you really wanted to, not extend Kerr, not extend Clay, and then just pull the rug right out from under us. Right. If you're Curry and Draymond. Because you're like, you want to retire with those guys, right? That's kind of who you rode in with I, in the dynasty. I'll say this. I do believe that if Kerr doesn't get locked up, that th there's a very real possibility he will go the way of Bob Myers. Like, this would this will be his last year. I think that's very possible because you you have to allow for the fact that maybe things won't go well this year. And so now if they don't go well and Kerr's sitting without a contract, what do you do? 888-957-9570 is a number. Uh, Mike Dunleavy basically saying uh, those guys are two guys we definitely want to get locked up before the season starts. Clay Thompson and Steve Kerr.
uh, it was strong to me in terms of, huh, I kind of thought maybe we'd just head in with Clay one more year, and I do. I guess I think Kerr's probably going to get extended, but I guess maybe there's uncertainty.